not sure where to go, or what to see. Then, let's explore. New Delhi. Keep watching and we'll show you, the top self-guided day plan so that you can see the best attractions, at your own pace, for free. We'll also show you the best time to travel here. Save time and money by rolling with Tour Bird Buddy. We do all the hard work for you. To explore more cities, be sure to subscribe. Awesome. Let's roll. This tour is best. If you only have a day. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Another tour is. Delhi Highlights. Not so long, we recommend 5 hours for this tour. The next day plan is. Exploring Central Delhi. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. The next day plan is. South Delhi Attractions. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Another tour is. Old Delhi, former Mughal capital. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Maybe you'd rather. Delhi Markets. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Our checkout. Kid-friendly attractions. About 7 hours is ideal for this tour. Let's look at. If you only have a day. A busy day spent exploring must-see attractions, including Jama Masjid, Delhi, The Red Fort, and Jandar Mantar, New Delhi. 17th century, red sandstone Mughal-style mosque with a 25,000 capacity and 40 meters high minarets. Next to the Red Fort. Landmark 17th century Mughal fortress built in towering red sandstone, now a complex of museums. Then on to Jandar Mantar, New Delhi. Thirteen architectural astronomy instruments built in 1724 at the orders of Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah. Then moved to India Gate. Imposing Arc de Triomphe style gate commemorating the Indian solitaires killed in the First World War. Then on to Humayun's tomb. Opulent red sandstone tomb of Mughal Emperor Humayun, built in 1572 and surrounded by formal gardens. Next to Qutb Minar. Seventy-three meters tapering tower built in 1193 by Qutab ud Din Abak after defeat of Delhi's last Hindu kingdom. Let's look at Delhi highlights. A day among Delhi's top attractions, from a flower-shaped temple to the tomb of a Mughal emperor. Then move to Lotus Temple. Religious site also known as the Lotus Temple, opened in 1986 and open to those of all religions. Next to Nizamuddin Darga. Dome Sufi Muslim shrine dedicated to Hazrat Nizamuddin, offering daily prayers and vegetarian food. Then move to Isa Khan's tomb. This octagonal tomb known for its sunken garden was built for a noble in the Humayun's tomb complex. Then on to the next attraction. Let's look at, in central Delhi. Tracing the Rajput from the President's Palace to India Gate, plus a lavish temple and Lodi Garden. Sikh House of Worship with a Golden Dome and a Pool of Water with purported healing properties. Next to Parliament House. India's Grand Parliament Building, opened in 1927, with 144 sandstone columns in a circular design. 
next stop Secretariat Building. The Secretariat Building or Central Secretariat is where the Cabinet Secretariat is housed, which administers the Government of India. Next to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Official residence plus Mughal and herbal gardens of the President of India, with visits by request. Next stop Statue of Kamaraj. And then National Museum, New Delhi. Stately museum showcasing exhibits of art and cultural relics from prehistoric to modern times. Then move to India Gate. Imposing Arc de Triomphe style gate commemorating the Indian solitaires killed in the First World War. Next stop National Gallery of Modern Art. Museum with thousands of modern paintings, sculptures and other work by Indian artists, plus tours. Then on to Lodi Gardens. A British-era public park featuring ancient tombs, rose and herb gardens, bonsai trees and a lake. Let's look at South Delhi attractions. A day in the city's southern end discovering centuries-old ruins and tombs, plus ornate Hindu temples. Established in 1974, this enormous Hindu temple complex is a popular pilgrimage site. Then move to Meroli Archaeological Park. Two hundred acre archaeological site with some one hundred historic monuments, including tombs and Delhi's oldest fort. Next to Qutb Minar. Seventy three metres tapering tower built in 1193 by Qutab Ud Din Abak after defeat of Delhi's last Hindu kingdom. Then move to Sri Jagannath Mandir. Modern, large-scale Hindu temple with tiered white domes known for its Radhayatra festival. And then house Khas District Park. Richly wooded park featuring a duck pond, walking paths and ancient tombs, plus a herd of deer. Next stop Tomb of Firas Shah Tughlaq. Let's look at Delhi, former Mughal capital. Exploring streets humming with markets and rickshaws in the city once known as Shah Jahanabad. Landmark 17th century Mughal fortress built in towering red sandstone, now a complex of museums. Move on to Sri Digambar Jain Lal Mandir. Iconic Jain temple made of red sandstone, featuring several shrines, a bookstore and a bird hospital. Next to Chandni Chowk. Markets, shopping, history, and temples. and then Jama Masjid, Delhi. Seventeenth century, red sandstone Mughal-style mosque with a 25,000 capacity and 40 meters high minarets. Move on to Fatehpuri Mosque.
built of red sandstone in 1650, this elegant, subtly domed mosque is the site of Eid celebrations. Let's look at Delhi markets. Browsing for jewels, Daraba Kalan, and more in Delhi's bustling open air markets. Next to Cloth Market. Part of Chandni Chowk Market, with vendors offering fabrics and upholstery for home furnishings. Move on to Daraba Kalan. And then Kinari Bazaar. Indoor outdoor market specializing in wedding and special occasion attire, as well as art and jewelry. Then move to Chori Bazaar. And then Kidwai Nagar. Sprawling outdoor market offering a colorful array of handmade goods and regional food specialties. Let's look at kid friendly attractions a city zoo, an old fort, a hands on science museum, and an 18th century observatory, plus a park romp. This zoo houses some 130 species, including white tigers, elephants and rhinos closed on Fridays. Then on to Purana Kila. Riverside stone fortress with ramparts, the Mughal-style Humayun Gate and a 16th-century mosque. Move on to National Science Center, Delhi. Science Museum featuring exhibits and hands-on activities geared toward kids, plus a cafeteria. Next to Children's Park. Playful park featuring jungle gyms, slides and swings, along with whimsical sculptures. Then on to Jander Mantar, New Delhi. Thirteen architectural astronomy instruments built in 1724 at the orders of Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah. The most popular travel time in New Delhi is July. The temperature ranges from 35 to 27 degrees Celsius. Check the video description below for weather tips, more events and links to rewatch a day plan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you always go the best way for the best day. Oh, and help planning your trip, check the links in the video description below.